as lubricants and lubrications. Okay. So myself as Professor K. N. Bade, <coughs> today's lectures on lubricants and lubrication. Okay. <coughs> so first of all, we have to be define the lubricants. What is meant by lubricants? So lubricant is a substance which is inserted or introduced between the two contacting surfaces having a relative motions so as to reduce the friction and the wear. Okay. So the various functions of this lubricant are we are listed here. First one is to reduce the friction between these contacting surfaces. <coughs> Second one is to reduce the wear and to carry heat away from these frictional heats. Third one is they act as a coolant. Lubricant provide a damping effect and they reduce the noise. They prevent the entry of foreign particles like dust and dirt. They also act as a sealant. <coughs> so how to classify the lubricants in our lubrication processes? Okay. So in this, first we have to be major classification. We are putting in four categories. In this first, liquid lubricants, or in this, in which we have to be use lubricating oils. So <coughs> in this liquid lubricants, any liquid, any kind of liquid having some amount of viscosity can be regarded as lubricants. Means liquid must have to viscosity. Say this lubricant oils or lubricating oils included. Now we have to be see the contents of this lubricating oils. Natural organics, mineral oils, synthetic organics. Okay. So in natural organics, <coughs> we are having animal fats, vegetable oils, vegetable oils, or castor oils. In second, mineral oils. Mineral oils generally obtained from this petroleum products. The refining of the petroleum produces mineral oils, and these are the crude oils or the mixture of hydrocarbons. <coughs> then paraffins, naphthenes, aromatics, aromatics, etc. are the contents of this mineral oils. So this mineral oil can be used up to a maximum temperature of 200 degrees centigrade. <coughs> Then third one is synthetic organics. Synthetic organics which contains synthetic hydrocarbons. The synthetic hydrocarbons evolved as a result of requirement of the lubricants. <coughs> and they contain diester, silicates, fatty acid, fluoroesters, polyglycoether, etc. <coughs> On the basis of functionality, we can again categorize these lubricating oils as automobile lubricating oils, industrial lubricating oils, metal working oils, <coughs> marine lubricating oils, and again we are categorized in automobile industries as a crankcase oil, gear oil, transmission oil, universal <coughs> tractor oil, or special oil like brake, shock absorber, or calibration fluid, etc. The second classification of our lubricant is semi solid lubricant or glycis. <clears throat> so, in glycis, there are oil which is thickened with the solid lubricants, means it is a mixture of solid as well as li liquid lubricants. So, how much percentage have to be used as a liquid lubricants and solid lubricants? So, we have seen now in this. Base oil as a liquid lubricant as 90%, thickeners as 1 to 4%, and additives modifier as a revenue. So, in which some components in glycis formation are base oils as majorly mineral oils, synthetic oils, diester, phosphodiesters, etc. Thickeners are sodium soap. Calcium, lithium, aluminum salts, polyurea, PTFA, polyethylenes, and additives and modifier used 
for antioxidants, antiviral additives, extreme pressure additives, organ inhibitors, fusion modifiers, beta deactivators. This process improves water repellents, etc. Okay. So, some advantages of these glaciers are start stop problems, <coughs> sealing problems, supply of surplus problems, contaminations, use of solid additives. You have to be take under these considerations for this limitation or the advantages. Some disadvantages of this glaciers are reduced cooling. Heat transfer, limitation of the bearing speed, poor stretch capacity, lack of uniformity, etc. Now, third classification as solid lubricants. <coughs> These are the solid materials which exhibit low friction and wear during sliding in <coughs> the absence of external supply of the lubricants. So, these lubricants are principally classified as carbon and graphites. Monoethylene and disulfide, polymer and polymer composites, PTFE, polyacetal, etc. The main requirement of this solid lubricant are good thermal stability, low shear strengths, surface protections, good bond bonding properties. <coughs> and the last one is as a gas lubricants in which air is used as a lubricant in gas lubrications. Okay, so. The example of this gas, gas lubrication is the dentist drills in which the air is used as a lubricant in drills. Okay, so there are some classification of these lubricants with their contents or compositions. Now we have to see some properties. We are listed here some physical properties as viscosity, viscosity index, effect. Of temperature on pressure on viscosity, four point, oil lines, flash point, five point, foaming, specific gravity or cloud points, and some chemical property rights. Oxidation stability, acidity, alkalinity, demulcibility, corrosiveness, etc. Okay, so all these properties we have to be seen in details one by one. <coughs> So, in this first and major important property is viscosity. Okay, so viscosity is a very important property of this lubricants. It is defined as the internal resistance offered by the fluid to the change its shape or relative motion of its parts. In short, you can say viscosity is nothing but it is the internal resistance offered by the fluid to resist the Frictions. So, this viscosity we can find from this Newton's law of viscosity as the shear stress is directly proportional to the speed of this speed with respect to distance. And this viscosity we can measure in two types or two kinds absolute or dynamic viscosity, which is measured in terms of Newton second per meter square. And second one is dynamic viscosity. Which is measured in meter square per seconds. Okay, so how the temperature are affected this viscosity? How the pressure are affected this viscosity? <coughs> we have to see in next lectures. So in today's lecture, we are always come across the lubricants definitions, how they function, what are their classifications. Types, their compositions, there is properties of these lubricants. Okay. Thanks.